As America's new boundary lines were being drawn during the presidency of James Monroe, the nation's population reached 10 million. During this period of explosive growth, new states were being added almost every year, and the issue of slavery increasingly divided the nation. Mississippi was added to the Union in 1817 as a slave state, meaning a state in which slavery was legal. The next year, Illinois was added as a free state, meaning a state in which slavery was banned. And in 1819, Alabama was added as a slave state. At that point, the number of free and slave states was equal. However, the application by Missouri for statehood as a slave state threatened to upset this balance unless the U.S. Congress took decisive action. The leaders of the northern free states claimed Congress had the right to prohibit slavery in Missouri as well as any other new states created west of the Mississippi River. But the leaders of the southern slave states strongly resisted this notion. They feared that if the balance of power was shifted in favor of the free states, slavery might be made illegal and undermine the South's slave-based economy. In 1820, Congressman Henry Clay of Kentucky helped enact a law called the Missouri Compromise, designed to appease both sides. This law allowed Missouri to be admitted as a slave state, but it banned slavery from the entire region north of the Missouri Compromise line that corresponded to its southern boundary. It is interesting to note that while the Missouri Compromise was being worked out, Voters in the state of Massachusetts decided to create a new free state from northern lands that had been a part of Massachusetts since early colonial times. So that when the state of Maine entered the Union in 1820, it balanced the influence of the new slave state of Missouri when it became a state the next year.